Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. 5 for Friday, Pickens just scratching the surface. Zach Azani has spent the past seven seasons coaching wide receivers in the NFL, doing so with the Jets, Broncos, and Bears. Prior to that, he coached the position for 18 years at the collegiate level. So he understands more than a little bit about the position. That's why when some question what the Steelers have at the wide receiver position beyond budding star George Pickens, Azani sees the group of receivers the team has acquired this offseason as an opportunity not only for the players, but for himself. In addition to Pickens and fellow holdover Calvin Austin, the Steelers have a bevy of veteran receivers they've brought in over the past year to revamp the position, including Van Jefferson, Quez Watkins, Scotty Miller, Denzel Mims, Corderell Patterson, and Marquez Callaway, all of whom have significant NFL experience. They round out a group that also includes rookie Roman Wilson, a third-round draft pick, Des Fitzpatrick, Deuce Watts, and Jari Jenkins, three players who have spent time on NFL practice squads. The group might not be loaded with household names, though both Jefferson and Mims are former second-round draft picks, but Azani is excited about the possibilities of what they could be in the Steelers' offense. It's up to him to continue to mold their talents. They all come with their own bad and good habits. And we're just trying to get the habits that we want to create in our way, our style, said Azani, who was hired in the offseason to coach the group. We've got a lot of guys that are in some cool areas of their careers, though, at year four, going into year five. The only rookies we have is Roman, but George is going into year three. So we got some guys in some pivotal years. So yeah, we're trying to create new and brand new habits for these guys. We want to take their good habits, eliminate the bad. If they can do that, the Steelers' perceived need of adding another star player at the position would be greatly lessened. In Pickens, the Steelers have a player who is coming off a season in which he caught 63 passes for 1,140 yards and five touchdowns. He's clearly the team's top wide receiver, but the 23-year-old is just scratching the surface of what he could be. It's right there for him, Azani said. He's just got to got to pick it up and take the cheese, do the things we asked him to do, and he can do anything he wants. He's that talented. I think you guys all know that Ray Charles can see that. You don't need to be a coach. So we know that's out there for him if he wants it. Now, he's just got to keep stacking the days, and that's my job, too. Beyond Pickens, who serves as the number two, three, or four, is a big question mark but Azani isn't as concerned with that. The competition has been great, Azani said. I know that a lot people look at the one, the two, the three. Listen, these days we move everyone around and guys get good balls depending on matchups so that number thing is a little overrated to me. But yes, we're trying to find the best three or four we can put out there for sure. Jefferson, a former second-round draft pick of the Rams, has the best resume of the group of veterans battling for a spot. Before being traded to Atlanta last offseason, where he joined now Steelers offensive coordinator Arthur Smith, Jefferson caught 50 passes for 802 yards and six touchdowns in 2021 before injuries slowed him in 2022 and 2023. Still, the veteran caught nine passes for 102 yards in Los Angeles's run to the Super Bowl in 2021, so there's talent there as the Steelers search for a replacement for Deontay Johnson, who was traded to the Panthers in the offseason. Five biggest contracts the Pittsburgh Steelers have ever handed out. Every year, the NFL salary cap reaches new heights. This results in records routinely being broken for the largest contracts in league history. The Pittsburgh Steelers have dished out some massive contracts of their own. Surprisingly, many of these numbers pale in comparison to what opposing NFL teams have handed out to their best players in recent years. Vikings wide receiver Justin Jefferson, for example, is now making more money with significantly more guarantees than any contract the Steelers have ever handed out. A few years from now, 
we could be looking at several new contracts claiming the top spot on this list. As of the 2024 offseason, here are the five biggest contracts the Pittsburgh Steelers have ever handed out in terms of average per year. Immediately after trading for Minka Fitzpatrick during the 2019 season, the Steelers elevated their defense to one of the best units in the NFL for two straight years. During this time, Minka earned first-team All-Pro honors twice. When the time came to receive a new contract, it wasn't surprising to see Pittsburgh make Minka the highest-paid safety in NFL history. This didn't last long, however, as Derwin James quickly claimed this title two months later. Still, this is an enormous sum of money to hand to a safety, and Fitzpatrick is largely responsible for causing a market reset at the position. His extension with the Steelers in 2022 at $18,247,000 per year, which included $36 million in guarantees, claims the spot as the fifth biggest contract in Steelers history narrowly edging out players like Antonio Brown, 2017, and Cameron Hayward, 2020. I'd venture a guess that most fans don't realize Deontay Johnson earned one of the biggest contracts the Steelers ever handed out in terms of yearly value. Johnson emerged as the team's number one receiver early in his career. After earning Pro Bowl honors in a contract year in 2021, the Steelers handed Johnson a two-year, $36.71 million deal during the 2022 offseason. At $18,355,000 per year in new annual earnings, this APY was higher than what Antonio Brown earned in his biggest NFL contract with the Steelers during the 2017 offseason, $17 million per year. The increased salary cap played a major role in this, and wide receivers are a premium position in the NFL. Johnson didn't play out the final year of his contract before he was traded to the Panthers, and he had a disappointing season in 2023 before leaving Pittsburgh. Nobody should be surprised to see Ben Roethlisberger crack this list. Big Ben was a two-time Super Bowl champion, playing the most important position in the game. Back in 2015, Roethlisberger inked a four-year extension worth $87.4 million, with $34.25 million in guarantees. This was an enormous contract at the time, which equated to $21.85 million per year. Of course, in today's game, this barely looks like starting quarterback money. TJ what made history in the summer of 2021 when he set the record to become the highest-paid defensive player in NFL history. After three stellar years on his rookie contract, the All-Pro Edge defender inked a four-year extension worth a whopping $112 million. What's $28 million per season was the second-largest contract the Steelers ever handed out in terms of yearly value, and what set a new franchise record for guaranteed money earning an astounding $80 million in guarantees. The former first-round pick is on a Hall of Fame pace, and he is on track to top the number one contract on the list in the near future. Claiming the top spot for the biggest contract the Pittsburgh Steelers ever handed out is Ben Roethlisberger. Pittsburgh Steelers News, star pass rusher TJ Watt gives honest take on potential retirement. Forget about position, Pittsburgh Steelers edge rusher TJ Watt is among the best all-around players in the NFL. This has pretty much been the case since Pittsburgh selected the Wisconsin product in the first round of the 2017 NFL Draft. All the 29-year-old Watt has done is lead the NFL in sacks three of the past four seasons. That included tallying 19 last season. What is still in his prime? He's earned six consecutive Pro Bowl appearances and been named All-Pro four times. He will go down as a first ballot Hall of Famer and one of the best pass rushers of the modern era. But how much longer will what suit up in the NFL? Surprisingly, retirement talk came up during Steelers' minicamp this week. He provided a detailed thought process as it relates to the R word. I don't know if I want to play forever, but who knows? It is too hard to say, what said, via The Athletic. JJ always said he didn't want to play super long, then things happened and he ended up playing longer. I won't know until that moment comes. 
I feel great right now, so I am kind of just living in the moment. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of TJ Watt? Leave your opinion in the comments.